Hello YouTube, it's your boy Intel or something like that, here on the Jabba Nation YouTube channel. John Cena is the new WWE Champion after Money in the Bank. We're gonna, um, we're gonna play some Minecraft though, and what I'm going to do, uh, we're gonna create a new world. What I really want to do, and I aspire to do, um, we'll go, we'll call it ra wrestling. we'll call it wrestling. Wrestling, wrestling. Uh, what I want to do is I want to build a world, and I'm really excited about um, creative. I'm really excited about uh, the new. Ooh, that looks cool. About the new, uh, the new, the new Xbox One. We'll go peaceful for just obvious reasons. Generate vectors, super flat world. Um, I'm really excited about the new Xbox One version coming out. Oh, no, I'm not. What am I talking about? Uh, online game? Invite only. Okay. Great new world. I'm going to, if you create it, okay. I'm going to build a, uh, a city of, like, wrestling arenas. That's kind of what I want to do. Uh, I think that'll be cool. Uh, it's just super fun to build arenas in Minecraft, and if you don't own Minecraft, then you're one of, like, I don't know, seven people in the world, because there's... Everybody basically has this game. Uh, I own it for PC and, and, and Xbox, and I'll own it for the, the Xbox One coming up soon. Um, but basically what I'm going to build today, maybe we'll start off with like a nice uh, smaller arena. I don't know if I want to go... How far down does this go? Three? Goes down three? Great. Uh, I forgot how to go back down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Or I can do that. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I kind of forgot how to do this. That's my inventory. Okay, what is this? X is... Okay. Ooh, they added emerald. That's cool. This is kind of different, though. I don't like... Uh, um, it's a little weird. Uh, Alright, well, let's start building uh, a smaller arena. And what I like to do first is... Uh, where's the... Uh, there it is. I like to build the... Um, The, uh, the, 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 the ring first. So, uh, basically what I want to do is I want to fill this hole in first. Oh. Come on. Come on. Alright, playing on Xbox is weird. Uh, I'm going to just start right here. And then, uh, raise it up. We'll go too high right now. Let's do one, two, three. One, two... Three. Then we'll just kind of fill in the signs. Now I'm gonna fuck myself up. I should have done all all of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. We might go one more on each side though. Um, but yeah, like I I'm gonna build like a small little arena. Uh, and then we'll kind of do like bigger arenas. We'll build like a nice little city around it. Um. Because this is a smaller one, I think that'll I think that should do. Nah, we'll go one more around. I know the WWE rings are twenty by twenty. So maybe we'll do bigger ones then. Is that it? One more. One more side. That's a big ring now. Alright, what the <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go back to uh We'll, we'll reserve that size for the WWE rings. This is going to be like a nice little indie show. Uh, a, a bigger a bigger indie show. I've been to a couple indie shows and there's been like 50 people there. 50 to 100. So I kind of want to do like a good 300 or uh, 300 to like a thousand people arena. Um, okay. And then we'll do, you know. This will be the entrance ramp way. We'll make it like a cool little... The only reason why I'm doing it above the ground a couple is in case I need to use any underground just because it goes down three. But basically, for the most part, it's just gonna... It's all gonna be... Be golden. It's all gonna be God, you know? Um, Alright, so... And then we'll use, you know, light gray or dark gray. We'll go uh, two or so. Two or so. Is there guardrails yet? 
course not. They got, um, they do have iron bars. No. Well, maybe. I actually kind of like that. That might work. All right. Um, something not right here. Oh, obviously. What am I, retarded? I know what I did wrong. Uh, I can't build it that high. Well, I, I might, I might do the ramp that high. Okay, I'm just fucking everything up right now. Um, all right, so let's let's discuss this. This is Monday, Raw's tonight. Uh, WWE just did a pay per view last night. Money in the Bank. John Cena won. Spoiler alert. Seth Rollins got the money in the bank. Everything else was kind of uh, a little iffy, if you ask me. The other pay or the the other matches, B uh, Big E versus uh, Rusev wasn't bad actually. Um, overall, I was not disappointed with the last match, simply because Randy Orton was busted open, and then at the end of the match he was just bleeding like crazy, like a stuffed pig or something like that. I don't know if that's the word. How do I how do I usually do this? Uh, fence posts, I believe. I think I just, I think I usually just use fences, actually, all the way around. This is a kind of a small ring. Yeah, let's go one more. Damn it. <sighs> typical. Typical, typical, typical me. Alright. We're gonna try and make this a nice little arena. Anyways, Money in the Bank was last night. Uh, Seth Rollins is the champion, or er, the Money in the Bank guy now, uh, which I think is cool. Uh, it should be interesting to see when he uh, when he cashes in. Um, a lot of people were speculating that Seth Rollins was going to win, and then like somebody else was going to win the title, and then Seth Rollins was going to cash in right away. And I kind of thought Dean Ambrose had it towards the end. Uh, end of the match you know and then like Kane came out and oh man I can't believe I, I can't tell you how disappointed I was because I've been a huge mark a huge mark or fan for those of you that don't know uh for Dean Ambrose since he started off with the shield he's always been my favorite member of the shield obviously I don't know why that would be obvious but uh but now I love Roman Reigns I love Seth Rollins I love all three of them really um they're all gonna do great things uh we should see Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins at Battleground. That should be interesting. Because they did put on quite a few good matches at... Uh, does this not look... Yeah, I guess it's symmetrical. Uh, they did put on a few good matches at uh, at NXT. So, is that a person out there? No, it's a sheep. Just a sheep. All right, we're going to go to uh, three. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. And then this will be our ramp. A little rampway. I don't know how long I want to make it. We're just going to fill it all in with, like, gray wool for right now. Ah. Um, we'll go one more. And then we'll spread it out. I want it to be just a little bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, cool. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten back. That looks about good. Is that it? That is it, isn't it? Um. So yeah, I you know I mean I'm not disappointed. Um, just a little bit, just because everybody that we all thought would win did win. It looks a little big, but I'm sure it'll shape its way in. That side looks longer, doesn't it? Or am I just crazy? Yeah, it's probably just that it's late. Um, a lot of people are disappointed, though. Or a lot of people are disappointed. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, you know, I kind of saw it coming, and, like, the thing that disappoints me is, like, John Cena is now a 15-time 15, 15 champion, and... Uh, uh, Michael Cole, you know, ended the end of the pay per view with saying, "John Cena, fifteen time WWE champion, greatest champion of all time." Like, come on, you know. 
it's like it's obvious that Cena is now gonna pass Ric Flair, yeah, uh, with the most title reigns ever, you know, um, which is disgusting if you ask me. But what can you do, really? You know, um, the thing that doesn't bother me is that it's obvious that just it, it's it's obvious that it's like if Daniel Bryan didn't get hurt, he would still be champion. So it's like you know, John Cena is just kind of a placeholder. And I don't think anybody else was quite ready, you know. Dean Ambrose, or Dean Ambrose, God, I can't even just talk. Uh, Seth Rollins, oh my God, I did it again. Roman Reigns is the guy I want to talk about. Roman Reigns did just, you know, did just split away from the Shield, you know. So let him kind of do his own thing, build his way up, have his little feud with Randy Orton now. Uh, you know, I'm sure they'll put on some great matches, um... And then you, you know, and then you get Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins on the other end of it, and that's gonna be fucking amazing. Um, so just kind of let John Cena do his thing, and like, you know, who's he gonna face now for the title at uh, at Battleground? That should be interesting, right? Uh, Cesaro maybe. Like, what if they built up a feud to do Cena versus Cesaro for the title, right? Because then that builds Cesaro up to be ready for a title run in the future. Uh, kind of like what they did with Daniel Bryan when he was facing, like, Cena and Kane, uh, back in the day. Well, that was after he was a world champion, so he was already good by then. Uh, but, like, that'd be cool, right? Or, like, even go back to, like, the Bray Wyatt thing, that would be a good title match. Except for I don't want to see Bray Wyatt lose to John Cena again. Um, you know, they can do Sheamus. Uh, this looks like enough room for an indie show, right? They might do this, though. I think we'll do, uh, I think we'll do that. There's night vision now, right? Oh, uh, God. Is that it? That is it. Okay, cool. I don't know if I want to do it this way or... Yeah, we'll do it that way. That looks... It looks okay. Um... So, yeah, you know... It, it just comes down to, like... I mean, like, they could have done something cool. Like, what I was thinking was... Uh, and I'm sure a lot of other people were thinking this was, like... Uh, after Seth Rollins won the briefcase, Stephanie and Triple H, the authority, come out... And they, you know, they celebrate with, uh, with Rollins. And, uh, what I was thinking was that, like, Rollins is their new guy, right? Like, fuck, you know, fuck, uh, Randy Orton. It's all about Seth Rollins now. And so I thought that Seth Rollins was going to come out, cash in the same night. Which I'm kind of glad he didn't because it kind of, you know, somewhere down the line we're going to be like, man, come on, Seth, you know, and it's going to turn into this big thing. And I think that's what I like about Money in the Bank is... Nobody ever cashes in that same night, which is cool. Because then you get, like, that built-up anticipation of, like, when is this person going to cash in? and Which really works, right? Um, so I should probably keep playing this game. Um, oh, I'm going to have to fill all this in, aren't I? Let's get stone. Let's make it a stone ground. Um, this makes sense, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I forgot where I was going. But I thought that, you know, that, like, they were going to have Seth Rollins come out or, like, Kane be in the match, right? And then have him, like, fuck over Randy Orton after he wins. Have Seth Rollins come out, curb stomp, uh, and then have, have, like, Seth Rollins win the title and then walk away with the title. Uh, you know, I think it'd be cool. But they obviously went the the boring route I, I don't understand it. It's almost like... I don't know. It's it's weird how it's it's obvious. They should know that we all realize what's going to happen, right? Is It's like a lot of people come up with like different speculations, but like we all know deep down inside that Cena and Rollins were going to win today. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's almost like why don't they just change it? But I guess, you know, whatever it's it, it'll work in the end you know is 
as wrestling fans, I think we just get too impatient, right? Um, right, like we we watch Daniel Bryan win the title at WrestleMania and then go on to face Kane, and we were all like, "God damn it!" Right? But maybe you know something cool, <laughs> something cool could have come out of that. No, I don't think so. But you know, I think we just need to be more patient as wrestling fans, right? Just let it let it flow for a bit. You know, maybe Rollins will come out tomorrow night on Monday and take the title away from Cena, which I don't think will happen because he's going to face Brock at SummerSlam, obviously. Uh, and then hopefully Brock will just crush the shit out of John Cena. Do you, okay, John Cena and Brock Lesnar at Extreme Rules 2011, I believe? Or 2012. Uh, it was one of those two. And Brock Lesnar literally beat the shit out of John Cena, and then John Cena ended up winning. Um, right, this is looking cool. That that was a problem, right? But like, what if we got the same thing, except for this time, Lesnar wins. He beats the shit out of Cena, and then Lesnar wins. I think that, I think that would be cool, right? And then Lesnar comes in, maybe he drops the belt. Oh, come on, really? Autosave? Maybe he drops the belt at, uh, at SummerSlam, or not SummerSlam, Survivor Series, or maybe he holds the belt until Mania or the rumble uh i don't know there's a bunch of different ways i kind of don't want to see lesnar win the title though in the you know at SummerSlam, uh just because when the rock did it it was like oh okay well now we don't have a champion here every week but you know i'm sure it'll work um this is looking decent i guess I don't like these blue squigglies all around me. Okay, let's start on the, uh, let's start up here. Um, I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. I'm at 17 minutes right now. So, uh, maybe we'll go to 20 and then, and then call it a day. Call it, a, call it an episode one. Uh, let's do like a, we'll do, we'll do it in white for now. Maybe we do like a big screen right here with like a double... Something like this. And then we can do like a screen above it. Kind of like an old raw. Right? And then we'll do like a screen up above. Not a big one though. This is an indie indie esque show. I just like building the, the stages and then I like put in the seats. And then I'm like, eh, well, that's it. And then I never really finish any of the arenas that I ever build. Um, that's a weird looking TV. Is that the TiVo symbol? That's the TiVo guy. I just built the TiVo guy, didn't I? Uh, all right, let's go one more up. All right, this is going to be kind of a big show, uh, a big fucking indie show, huh? This is like some ROH shit. I don't think we'll. I think I don't think we'll use white. I think we'll. Oh, I didn't even fucking line it up. Oh, I gotta go three, don't I? Okay. Well, what is that? One, two, three. So like right, right here. Is that where that was at? Boop. Boop. The TiVo guy. That could be like our logo for our show. Is this guy? The. That's not symmetrical now though. Ah, I gotta kick one off this side. Um, so basically what I think I'll do for this, if you guys enjoy it, is, uh, I think I'll just cut these episodes up. I think I'll just keep recording and then I'll just cut them up, uh, 10, 15 minutes or something like that. I don't know. Probably not because I keep talking about stuff in recent history. Um, so, so yeah, this is what we're going to, this is where we're going to stop. We got the wrestling ring. I know much didn't get built today, but the next episode, uh, there's going to be a lot of talking. I don't know why I keep doing accents, but uh, so far, you know, we got the guardrails in. We got a, a decent, a small seating area for right now. Um, then we got, you know, the ring, and then we started on our entrance ramp, which is cool, or our, our, our stage area. Um, so we got a, we got quite a bit down. Uh, this has been episode one of Minecraft Mondays Building a Wrestling Arena. This is your boy Intel, Robert from Jobber Nation. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy Monday Night Raw tonight. And that is the bottom line because I fucking said so. What a horrible outro.